I want to talk about trend lines and charts. This is Excel 2010. 13 works a little different. I'm working with 10. We have a chart here based on this data in here. When we look at this here, we want like a little red line coming across here. And I'm going to show you not the exact answer, but you're going to get something where you get the lines going here for that, the staffing. So let's get started. I'm going to delete this chart here. It's pretty easy to do. We highlight all the data here. And then we go to insert column. I'm going to use a 2D column chart. So we have that there. I'm just going to leave it blocking so we can see a little bit better. And I'm just going to zoom this down a little bit. We want the staff to be on a separate axis. We have to click on here. It can be a little tricky, but you just right click on that little thing when you see the dots. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say format data series. I'm going to say secondary axis close. This even looks uglier now. It's actually pretty easy. What you're going to do is you're going to right click inside here. You're going to say change series debt chart type I go over here I click on line click on this say OK if you need to change the scale this shows here like let's say our staff for our salesmen and what they've sold and fruit and you could see how it goes back and forth but let us say we want a different scale in here we want this to go up to 55,000 you click inside here right click here and then you would say format axis it shows the thing here I, w I could say that ma the maximum unit here it's 55,000 highlight it hit the enter key sorry about that glitch and this is the chart if you want to put a title on here You've got three tabs here. Go into layout here. And you could just say chart title above chart. Click up in the formula bar and say Acme Fruit Company Sales. If you were to change the style of it now, I'm going to mention this here. You go to design. You click on this here. It will work. You're getting a custom color. You want the legend at the very bottom. You could say layout, legend. You could just say at the bottom. It is all preference. If you were to change the chart, I'll just move this here. And let's say I have 15 people in here. Change it. The chart instantly changes. Now if you take a look here, do you see how you have a negative number? You don't like that right click inside here left click on format axis and you've got that in there and what you have to do here is click on this close that didn't work I'm gonna right click in here uh, I'm gonna say I didn't quite do this right. You got to be careful. Right click format axis. I could say format major grid lines. That's not it either. I'm going to hit the close. A lot of this is just trial and error. I'm doing this deliberately to show this to you. And I go to format axis here. And uh, that was not the correct thing here. And then I could just say the minimum fixed. It shows a minus 5,000. Say a zero. Everything is fine. Good luck creating your trend lines.